I'm wondering how much we really understand of what our dogs are thinking and feeling. We've talked about them understanding our gestures, being able to interpret certain things in a way that no other non-human species can. Um, you described this as a guilty look. Do we, how would we know if this dog was guilty? Or better yet, um, let me ask your professional opinion. Is this one guilty? <laughs> What do you think? Is that a guilty this is dog? Your dog? That's yes. my dog. <laughs> you know, these types of this study I did about the guilty look was just about this. The feeling we have about that dog's look is a, is just our attributing something to them. And I wanted to say, well, what really prompts that look, right? And it turns out what prompts that look is that they are responding to us again. They're not responding to some behavior that they did before, because we get more of this look if the person thinks they've done something wrong than if they haven't, mm -hmm. um, kind of tragically. But it's a very good look at communicating to us that they're concerned about that gesture you have right. and, we and they want us to take, be easy on them, go easy on in them. In this instance, with my <laughs> physics homework, Brian, I was a physics assignment I was gonna give to my class and he did not feel guilty at all. No, zero, <laughs> zero guilt. Um, I will say one fun thing. If you go back two pictures to the first guilty dog, uh, guilty looking dog, if you note uh, the white part of the dog's eyes called sclera, um, and there's beautiful work showing that uh, dogs have evolved uh, extra white tissue on the sides of their eyes, and they actually have a, an increase in a muscle called the AU11 muscle that wolves do not have, and it allows them to pull that muscle, or sorry, that their eyelid back so that they can expose more of their white sclera. Mm -hmm. And it ends up that that is, we, people have argued that is the guilty look or the guilty eye when they use that muscle. Um, and the neat thing, you were saying, what do we know about our dogs? How good are we at reading them? And I would say, eh, not very good because one of the things that um, predicts uh, how quickly dogs are adopted out of shelters is the baseline rate that dogs pull that muscle back. Mm -hmm. So dogs that flash the guilty eye look at a high rate are much quicker to be adopted in, in two studies. Uh, than dogs that are less likely to flex that muscle and manipulate our feelings. And that little, and that little eyebrow muscle that which you can see marked here on Gigi. This is Julie Hecht's photo, my lab manager, who's out there. My former lab manager was out there. Uh, that muscle right that creates a little eyebrow expressiveness. That also turns out to be, you know, something we recognize in ourselves.